21, I'll let these reports looked over at the back of my desk by 4 o'clock. And I hope you realise that's not a regulation tie. And I hope you realise it's not a regulation tie. What an asshole, huh? <laughs> you know, I've been in this place two weeks and I'm already fed up with it. You know, like, I lost my last job because they got a computer in that cocked up less than I do. And I'm looking around here and I can see them all thinking, oh, Jesus, wish we got a bloody computer as well. <laughs> oh, God. You know, this place, it's, it's absolutely driving me nuts. They absolutely micromanage every last damn detail. You know, they give you the one small remedial task to do and they want you to do it and nothing more, nothing less. You know, 41, we've got these papers we want you to look over and just correct any mistakes. Okay, well, would you like me to make any suggestions? Oh, no, 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 41, we've got somebody else that we pay to do that. Okay, how about uh, adding anything else to the essay? No, 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 41, we've got somebody else who does that. I was thinking about later on going to the toilet and wiping my own ass. Oh, 41, that's not exactly your job. And this whole... 41 crap. You know, not my actual name. Hmm? But I guess that's how these big businesses work, right? I'm sure it's all very rational to them. That, that Ritzer guy, he said it, didn't he? He said that uh, rational systems are unreasonable. They deny basic humanity. Like my own name, perhaps. But, uh,. I guess I'm just going to have to take it, you know? Like Darwin said, survival of the fittest. Evolve the amount of crap I'm willing to take, or else I'm going extinct. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Henry Ford pioneered mass production technology, allowing for greater division of labour and efficiency. His motion management techniques provide the basis for modern day manufacturing. The influence of machinery has created a loss of control and individualism for the workforce. George Ritzer identified the rationality of behaviour in today's society based on capitalisation, bureaucracy and calculation. Then there is Charles Darwin. In his book, The Origin of Species, the world evolved around the survival of the fittest where evolution contributes to maximised efficiency over time. Karl Marx, a German book, a bit of a communist. He talked about objectification. The machines take over. Think Terminator. We, the workforce, become less efficient than machinery, therefore we're replaced. No hard feelings, just business, right? He knew that these bourgeois fat cats were all here to screw us over. All this bureaucracy, they control us. But these days, everyone's lives fit into a neat timetable. Me, for example, I wake up every morning, I go for a pee, I have some wholemeal toast with peanut butter, a cup of coffee, dash of milk. My bus usually comes exactly when it's supposed to, on the hour, every hour. I get into this place, I do what I'm told until 12 o'clock where I'll have a lunch break. I'll usually be eating the same Tesco's BLT as I do every other lunch break. I finish my day off by doing some more remedial tasks where thinking is strictly prohibited, then I catch the 7 o'clock bus home on time for EastEnders at 8. God, that is depressing. Uh, Max Weber, another German book, a lot like Marx but less of a beard, he said that Everything is controlled by the calculation of efficiency, not motion. Which I guess means that they don't really care how pissed off I get around here. <laughs> Feeling anything is not efficient. Emotion has no place in a modern day workforce. <sighs> Karl Marx claimed that organisations are controlled through processes of conformity and order where strict timetables and standards must be kept. Max Weber further developed this theory by suggesting that allocation of specific work tasks, routines and schedules underline the capitalist authority over men.
Just five minutes, please. I'm the police slave, you know. Flipping Stalin on there, you know. You know, granted he hasn't killed 22 million people, but he does like the idea of dehumanization. He's a controlling prick. He makes us work overtime that we're not even paid for. Yeah. Don't conform, you're right in your ass. He's a dictator. Thinks he's Mr. Big, you know? Big man in a suit. Yeah. You know, he thinks everybody around here respects him. Does he actually think people like, care about him or this company? It's all about the money. I'm not scared of him. And I'm gonna let him know. I'm gonna flip in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him, you know? I'm not taking any more of this crap, you know? Not good enough, 41. Shove it up your ass. Stalinism is characterised by totalitarianism and profound loyalty to the state. The centralised government allocated and controlled jobs where social rationalisation was used as an excuse for their behaviour. F. W. Taylor identified the process of determining the division of work into its smallest possible elements. The process of completing each task can be standardised to achieve maximum efficiency. Planning and coordination contribute to a profitable system in this generation where identity has been squeezed and policed out of our lives. Rationalisation, disposable commodities produced by a disposable workforce.